Jesus has been asked by Jairus to come to his house to heal his daughter. Jairus is an important leader of the community and Jesus is on his way to heal the little girl. But on the way, Jesus is interrupted. Did you know that Jesus loves being interrupted? Let's see the first part of the story. A large crowd followed and pressed around him, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak, because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. When a woman bled in that culture, she was considered unclean and excluded from all the normal activities of community life. This woman's illness meant that she had been bleeding for 12 years, a large part of her life. Think about her physical weakness and all the horrible symptoms of her illness. Think about her social exclusion. She'd lost her family, her friends, and her church. No wonder she had spent her life savings on doctors to try to find a cure, but it had all been hopeless. Now she had no health, no community, no money, and no hope. But she's heard that Jesus is in town, and she works her way through the crowd from behind and just manages to touch the edge of his cloak. Immediately, her symptoms leave her and she knows she's been healed. Think about the courage of this woman. In that culture, she was forbidden from touching anyone, yet she pushed her way through the crowd and just managed to briefly touch Jesus' cloak. And that was all it took. Why did she do it? Because she was sure that even the slightest touch of Jesus and she would be healed. And what about you? Have you reached out and touched Jesus? One of the reasons why we don't receive the blessings of God is that we don't believe. We believe with our heads, but we don't believe enough to take action like this woman. Do you believe? Really? Well, if that's the case, then how does your belief result in you taking definite and fearless action for Jesus?